So let's continue the second episode. I did not manage to make this work on the Pro. However, the controllers actually paired up with the Quest 2 now due to the new firmware. So I guess we're playing on the Half Pro. <laughs> like, I'll take it because I just had some problems with the tracking and movement. So where we are, Lily? In the Crystal Cave. Oh. Are you okay? Those controllers have like new haptics, so I will like feel different stuff. You go first. <laughs> so this is... Wow. This is the Institute Lab. Uh huh. You guys used to come here all the time with the professor when you were kids. This is also where that experiment took place three years ago. Oh. <laughs> I wonder where Maya's gotten to. Oh, now we're calling her Maya. She's sleeping. She's tired. Maya. She's still breathing. I was so worried. What is she holding? Looks like she's uninjured. Maya, wake up. Hal, look! I think she's holding something. Okay. That should be interesting though, her memories. If something happens to me down the line, I need you to carry out the plan. <laughs> Who's there? It's probably Ariri. Remember. Ariri, I, I, whatever. <laughs> if you hear the clock tower bell, that means the fusion experiment has restarted. When it rings, all Cairo's hosts will be seized by their dreams. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> From there, augmented dreaming will gradually encroach on reality. This work follows on from the experiment we started nine years earlier. Listen, when the clock begins to move, I need you to secure the key. Then, you must head to the top floor of the tower without delay. You'll need this to interface with the mechanism at the top of the clock tower. Is that the key that controls the clock tower? <gasps> you! It was the same with that other guy. Jeez, you really can't let your guard down here. She seems to be important as well. Duh. I don't understand. It looks just like the key she had. One of the keys is in my possession. The other one is out in the world somewhere. <laughs> what do you mean somewhere? But when the time comes, it will find its way back here. When the bell rings out, Cestelia will wake up and help us execute the plan. I'll order them to do so. The problem is Maya. Her ability is a real cause for concern. If she saw the future, she'd become a concrete threat to the plan. Even if we were completely honest with her, I just know she wouldn't come round. I can't imagine she'd stand idly by while the plan put her family in harm's way. You're right. I still don't see. 
Let's put her to sleep until this is all over. Professor! Professor Rumford! There's something I need you to see! Who's that voice? I guess someone minor. We've detected a slight abnormality in AD. I'll be right there. Wait here. Well, that clears things up. Maya? Was I asleep? Oh, wow, even the voice changed. Okay. Sorry. I couldn't keep my eyes open. Or is this the manipulation? Maya, are you hurt? That was such a big fall. You should take it easy. I'm fine. Besides, you can hardly talk. Don't try protecting me anymore, okay? What on earth were you thinking? You could have been shot. But if I hadn't done anything, you'd be dead. I knew I needed to change things. I was so desperate. Oh yeah, because she knows of the future. <laughs> Wait, you can see the future now? No, it's not like that. I can just alter the past. You've been changing the past? I've rewound time over and over again since the professor died. She seems so annoyed. Maya, what happened that morning? Didn't you see who killed the professor? The Bureau gave us permission to shoot you on sight. If you get spotted by any of the other supervisors, you're dead. We need to get to the bottom of the case before that happens. Otherwise, You'll be on the run forever. There's hardly anything I can tell you about that morning. I woke up and the professor was right there. Dead. For all I know, I could have been the one who stabbed him. I can't stand thinking about it, though. Even now. I can't shake the feeling it was really me. I mean, it's like I can still feel the shape and the weight of the knife in my hand. <sighs> No, that just doesn't add up. If you don't have a clear memory of killing him, the culprit must be someone else. But I'm the only one who could have killed him in that lab. Uh, I don't know at this point. Right? <laughs> You're totally right. That's what I proved. The lab was sealed off when the professor was killed. The culprit must have already been inside. Cistelia and the professor were the only ones inside the lab. I don't care what happens to me. I just want to know what the professor was thinking. I mean, he completely changed before that experiment three years ago. You remember, don't you? Hal? <laughs> don't look at me. I'm sorry. I don't know. I can't really remember anything before that experiment. You don't have any memories from back then? Nothing at all? Oh. Even so, you remembered who I was, right? I know. I don't really get it. Recently, my past has been coming back slowly, bit by bit. Maya, I need to get back to the Bureau. I can't just abandon my duties here in the city. If I don't find the key the professor mentioned before the clock tower starts to malfunction, it'll be a disaster. That's what the girl who looks like you told me in my dreams. A girl who looks like me? Hal! Maya's tired! <laughs> Eternal one. You've got to take it easy. Lily, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Hal's right, you know. If we hang around here, things are just gonna get worse and worse. Let's find a way out of here. We are a team. Um... 
So he'll be working with me now. Well, not technically. <laughs> She's fully back as Maya now. That's fun. Right, what's happening here? <laughs> this is still ongoing? Okay. No response. The monitor room is through there. You should be able to lower the sector's alert level from inside. There must be some way to open this door, too! Let's take a look around. What's this tag for? It's one of those security tags that Institute researchers use. Wait a minute. This tag doesn't have biometric authentication. Uh, that's probably because the researchers have to wear protective gear during experiments, right? Yep! It's kind of tricky to use biometric authentication with protective gloves on! Looks like I can use it to access someone's memory. Someone's. That's a dangerous statement. The power supply seems stable. Okay. Guess it wouldn't hurt to shut the cover. Anomaly detected. Professor Rumford. What the? It couldn't be. What was that just now? She's here. Maya's inside. Engage the link release override now. If you keep this up, they'll never make it back. Supervisor Cordia is right. If we continue, there's at least a 70% chance the subjects suffer fatal brain damage. The subject's safety is of no concern. You asshole. This work is of vital importance. Proceed with the experiment. Evacuate the sector immediately. I'm sealing the facility off. Whatever. I need to get out of here right now. Ah! Boom. <laughs> well, he's dead, that's for sure. What's this for? I think it's got something to do with the power in this place. Seems like it's broken though. The power's disconnected. A lot of the stuff in here isn't working. If we can get this up and running, we should be able to get through the door. Hal, watch this. Okay. I think this body can exert direct influence on particles. Yeah, because that's normal. It might come in handy. Nice. We can get to the machine now. She's a puppeteer now. <laughs> I still don't like this look. Do I need a key though? Hmm. This must have been the security.
Right. Time to restore power. You bet, mister! I'm so glad it didn't get damaged! We should be able to get into the monitor room now. 